Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are First look at the production ready Sunders Metacycle Electric Motorcycle. Rolls-Royce proclaims Spirit of Innovation E-Plane fastest electric vehicle in the world at 387 miles per hour. England will be first country to require new homes to include EV chargers. Cadillac Lyric is in final steps before production, new look of latest prototype. The Honor 60 series will be unveiled on December 1st. Let's get started. First look at the production ready Sunders Metacycle Electric Motorcycle. The long awaited Sunders Metacycle Electric Motorcycle is now ready for production, and we have an exclusive first look for you right here. The Sunders Metacycle has drawn huge excitement since its launch back in January of this year. The bike specs of an 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour, top speed and 80 mile or 130 kilometers, range struck a chord with consumers by filling the gap between electric mini motorcycles and high-performance flagship electric motorcycles. But it was the $5,000 purchase price that really turned heads, at the time dramatically undercutting the cost of even the most affordable highway-capable electric motorcycles currently available in the U.S. Updates regarding the design of the Metacycle have continued to trickle out all year, but now we're getting our first look at the latest version of the motorcycle after completing homologation. As Sunders founder and CEO Storm Sunders explained to us, the bike is in production-ready form and is all production design, but hand-assembled for final validation and testing purposes. We can see that the bike sports several modifications after undergoing homologation in preparation for production. One of the first obvious changes is that safety systems including lighting, reflectors, and mirrors all seem to have been updated. The minimalist LED tail light gained a more traditional motorcycle tail light cluster, adding larger lights and more visible rear turn signals. Similarly, the headlight gained the addition of larger turn signals spread farther apart, meeting NHTSA requirements necessary for street legal homologation. The license plate holder has also been shifted from the bike's tail to its new rear fender, though Sunders explained that the white fenders are temporary. All of the full production models will have matte black fenders on all colorways to better blend in with the tires. The Metacycle will be available in black, white, and brushed aluminum colorways, the rear brake caliper appears to have been updated from the underslung quad piston setup on the prototype to a more conventionally mounted dual piston caliper. The motor casing also appears to be different from the prototypes, and the spokes appear slightly shorter. That could indicate either a smaller rim size or a larger motor diameter. The battery compartment also appears to have been updated. It looks slightly reshaped, now bearing a wider aluminum shelf to support the removable battery. The battery itself also sports a new covered port on the upper left side, likely a charge port. We've previously seen how the battery is intended to be easily removable for remote charging off of the motorcycle. A Sunders representative also explained that the battery compartment's updated design allows for better power output and better acceleration and range. The battery will also come with an included 1,800 watts fast charger. At that rate, we estimate a 20% to 80% charge will take just over an hour, while a full charge would take closer to 3 hours based on the battery's 4,000 watt-hours capacity rating. Based on previous interviews with the Sunders team and updated information, the removable battery is expected to weigh around 45 to 50 pounds, or 20 to 23 kilograms. Its 4,000 watt-hours capacity is said to be enough for a maximum city range of 80 miles, or 130 kilometers. There will also be an optional level 2 charger module available to fill the negative space left in the front of the frame that would allow riders to charge at public charging stations, likely offering an even faster charge. Other accessories that will be available to fill that cavity include a storage compartment for a 3,000 watt-hours auxiliary battery to extend the bike's range. Riders can of course leave the space empty to retain that futuristic look. The updated model also gives us our first look at the new thicker seat, answering one of the common complaints about the prototype's rather thin-looking seat. We've also learned that the first 2,000 units will be part of the Signature series and will include Founder Storm Sunder's signature. Pre-order reservations have closed for the current batch of motorcycles, and the company is taking emails ahead of opening a new round of pre-orders. The latest official delivery estimate provided by Sunders came on September 15th of this year, when the delivery timeline was pushed back from Q3 to Q4 of 2021. 
that means Sunders has just under four weeks left to meet the current deadline, assuming it doesn't get pushed back. Rolls-Royce proclaims Spirit of Innovation e-plane fastest electric vehicle in the world at 387 miles per hour. Rolls-Royce Holdings has publicly claimed it believes its Spirit of Innovation all-electric plane is the fastest electric vehicle in the world, following three new speed records. The flight data has been submitted to the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, or FAI, with the hopes the organization will soon certify and officially confirm these world records. Rolls-Royce Holdings has a keen focus on aircraft and a roadmap to create net-zero emissions in operations by 2030, followed by all products by 2050. While the holdings entity remains one of the largest manufacturers of airplane engines in the world, it sits apart from Rolls-Royce Motor Cars, which is a subsidiary of BMW. Rolls-Royce's spirit of innovation is an all-electric plane created through the XL program, which stands for Accelerating the Electrification of Flight. Working with electric motor manufacturer Yasa and aviation startup Electroflight, this e-plane was designed from the get-go to smash world records and bring zero-emissions air travel one step closer to mass adoption. Rolls-Royce has previously claimed that the spirit of innovation's 400 kilowatt hours or 500 plus HP electric powertrain is supported by the most power dense battery pack ever assembled for an aircraft. According to the spirit of innovation fact sheet, it carries 6,480 battery cells, enough power to charge 7,500 smartphones. The company previously shared a speed goal for the e-plane to exceed 300 miles per hour, hoping to beat the previous world record set by a Siemens electric plane that reached a speed of 210 miles per hour in 2017. In a recent press release, Rolls-Royce has shared the flight data it submitted to the FAI for validation, and the numbers are staggering. On November 16th of this year, Rolls-Royce claims its Spirit of Innovation plane reached a top speed of 555.9 km per hour, or 345.4 miles per hour, over 3 km, topping the previous record by 213.04 km per hour, or 132 miles per hour. During additional flights in the UK, the E-plane hit 532.1 km per hour, or 330 miles per hour, over 15 kilometers, another new record by a gap of 292.8 kilometers per hour, or 182 miles per hour. According to its data, Rolls-Royce also claims to have broken the record for the fastest climb to 3,000 meters by an entire minute, clocking a time of 202 seconds total. In addition to the three records submitted to the FAI, Rolls-Royce also claims to have clocked its spirit of innovation at a max speed of 623 kilometers per hour, or 387.4 miles per hour, during one of its runs. The company believes this top speed is now worthy of the crown as the fastest electric vehicle in the world. Rolls-Royce still awaits formal recognition of its documented world record speeds from the FAI. Nevertheless, the company plans to continue its work with the XL project and Electroflight to deliver more widespread decarbonized passenger flights in the future. England will be first country to require new homes to include EV chargers, the British government has introduced legislation that will require all newly built homes and offices to feature electric vehicle chargers in England. The November 22nd update reads, new homes and buildings such as supermarkets and workplaces, as well as those undergoing major renovation, will be required to install electric vehicle charge points from next year, under new legislation announced by Prime Minister Boris Johnson according to the UK government website. Up to 145,000 extra charge points will be installed across England each year thanks to these regulations, in the run-up to 2030 when the sale of new petrol and diesel cars will end in the UK. This builds on the over 250,000 home and workplace charge points the government has already supported to date. Specifically, all new homes and offices will have to feature smart charging devices that can automatically charge vehicles during off-peak periods. New office blocks will need to install a charge point for every five parking spaces. The new law will make England the first country in the world to require all new homes to have EV chargers. It will also boost confidence in helping those who transition from gas cars to overcome range anxiety, as so many homes in England don't have off-street parking or garages. The proposal is part of the movement to rapidly boost the number of chargers across England ahead of the UK's 2030 ban of new fossil fuel vehicles. The government originally announced a proposal to mandate that all new homes have a charge point with a parking space in 2019. The home and office EV charger mandate is expected to start in 2022. Further, the UK government announced a free app called EV8 Switch on World EV Day. It calculates how much money UK drivers could save by switching to an EV compared to their current petrol or diesel vehicle, along with details on the carbon dioxide savings and air quality improvements they could achieve. 
Drivers can also see which electric vehicles would be the most suitable for them based on their current vehicle and how switching to electric could fit in with their current lifestyle. Those with the app can also see how close their nearest charge points are and which journeys can be completed without the need to top up on route. Cadillac Lyric is in final steps before production, new look of latest prototype. GM has released a rare update on the Cadillac Lyric, a highly anticipated upcoming all-electric SUV based on the Ultium platform. The automaker says that the vehicle program is reaching final steps before production, and it released new look of the latest Lyric prototype. The Cadillac Lyric is the first new EV coming from the brand. The first edition reportedly sold out in 19 minutes. However, the company didn't confirm how many reservations were made available. The first Lyric deliveries are expected to begin in Q2 of 2022. That's just a few months away at this point, and GM decided to release an update about the testing and validation leading up to production. GM says that it completed the important 80% validation drive. It added that the company is particularly proud of the 50-50 balance and five-link front suspension of the Lyric, enabling great handling. The Lyric is going to be offered with a 100 kilowatt hours battery pack enabling over 300 miles of range on the first version available, which is going to be rear-wheel drive. Future versions of the vehicle should come with an all-wheel drive powertrain. The charging capacity is also very good with a 19.2 kilowatts onboard charger, which is going to give the Lyric access to best in class level 2 charging. It is also able to charge it up to 190 kilowatts with level 3 DC fast charging. The starting MSRP of the Cadillac Lyric is going to be $59,990 before taxes or incentives. The Honor 60 series will be unveiled on December 1st. As it turns out, the November 22nd teasers were about when the reveal date for the upcoming Honor 60 series will be announced, and that is December 1st. This teaser continues the cosmic theme of the earlier ones, which will tie into an astrophotography mode for the phone's camera. We expect that there will be three models, Vanilla, Honor 60 Pro and an SE model. The Pro model will be powered by the Snapdragon 870 according to some rumors and its 4500 mAh battery will charge at 100 watts, or perhaps even higher. That's speculation, but we know from the 3C that the Vanilla model will charge at 66 watts. The Honor 60 phones will maintain the two circles camera bump design of the 50 series. However, Honor has been surprisingly effective at keeping details about the phones under wraps, So if you want to know more about the cameras and other features, join us next week as we watch the reveal. The event will start at 19.30 China time, or 11.30 UTC. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.